Welcome back to the Theta Communications YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over the launch of the Hybrid Edge Cloud and what that means for users and the business model of T-Fuel going forward. Before we dive in, let us thank our Theta stakers as well as our T-Fuel stakers over on ThetaCommunications.com. We greatly appreciate all the support. You all make this content possible. As well as make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below to boost Theta-related content in the YouTube algorithm. Alright, let's head on over to Twitter here, and the Theta team has been posting uh, very consistently. We've had some good PR uh, pushes, and Mitch is highlighting this here. As well as the collaboration with the Houston Rockets, we are getting some good sync up and web presence uh, with these large scale NBA teams. Uh, this is a big milestone in the progression of why the AI chatbots are so important. They are the foot in the door and enabling us for future collaboration going forward. All right, we're going to be talking about and going into the Q&A of the, uh, the Theta Edge Cloud hybrid architecture. And what's really important with this hybrid beta here is the ability for users to uh, apply their GPU compute resources and be able to uh, earn rewards in a timely manner. So they go through here in this FAQ that they have posted uh, how the rewards are calculated. So they are in US dollar and then they are converted to T-Fuel. Your payouts are gonna be made monthly uh, between the first and fifth of each month. Uh, and you can also set your own rate, which is really, really cool because if you have a really high performance piece of equipment that is really sought after and all the other ones are uh, utilized within the ecosystem, you now have a, you know, some pricing power within the market space. So this is cool because this actually starts to build the ask and bid side of this marketplace. So really awesome to see this. Uh, they have this installation guide for the Edge Cloud here. Uh, the, you can also be on the other side for job submitters who are looking to uh, be the one to purchase capacity and see if there is someone there who can fulfill it. Uh, and here are all the uh, you know, different varying things that you could be submitting for. So this is the part that we are very excited about. I think this is what makes Theta stand out against a lot of the other Airbnb style uh, GPU marketplaces. And they are the auto routing to the most optimal mix of edge uh, and cloud GPUs for efficient cost effective processing. So we're going to see how the uh, hosted GPUs and then the edge GPUs, how they all run in tandem or in sync, uh, depending upon job size, job scale. I think this is going to be more prevalent uh, as things get scaled out a little bit more with AI. And the edge will do a lot more of the uh, medium to small jobs and then the uh, the cloud hosted GPUs will be doing a lot of the larger scale uh, initiatives. So they go through and they show how to engage as well as to create a new deployment here. And here we are with the model APIs. So yes, you can specific GPUs can be selected uh, within these parameters here. And this is the part that we have talked about for many months. It was a key piece of the Theta Edge Cloud that we needed to see. And that is this. What happens if a node goes offline? Automatic failover, job containerization, intelligent reallocation of workloads. If a node goes offline mid-task, the system will reroute the job to another available GPU to ensure completion without manual intervention. Uh, I guess the only step above question from this that could be added in here and for the Theta Labs team is uh, if a job is completed 50% and then there is a failover, is the payout uh, null and void? And does the new uh, one that has assumed the task or multiples that have assumed the task take the entirety of the payout? That's the the next question in terms of uh, payment payment flows, right? So 
This piece though is a huge chunk that changes everything compared to all these Airbnb style, uh, you know, like Akash, uh, you know, Render, and where they have GPU resources, but they are stagnant or uh, matched to a, uh, a certain job, and then there's no way for them to reroute to new compute hardware if there is an issue with the original uh, matching engine. It's why we always used Tokamak as an example because Theta is an auto router for uh, GPU capacity and compute resources, just as Tokamak is an auto router for uh, high yield staking assets, uh, which automatically rebalances your positioning. So just like that, it will automatically rebalance your GPUs or compute resources uh, if one goes down or goes offline. So very cool to see happy to have that as a piece of the arsenal so uh, this is going to be very good with the api access uh, intelligent job routing across edge and cloud uh, node performance monitoring monitoring tools are always super awesome the coming soon which is the job opt out and preference settings for node operators enhanced marketplace insights so really building out this ask bid so you are going to get a uh, eBay style or you know exchange style ask bid marketplace and I think it's going to be very dynamic very cool uh, if it gain some traction uh, and it's competitive in its uh, pricing if it's competitive enough in its pricing then the organic uh, turnover to Theta Edge Cloud will only grow from here I hope you have found this video well I look forward to seeing you in the next one, and as always, I will see you on TFU Island. Take care. Bye-bye.